when Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and Josh are stole away and made to watch these movies to stay alive until the day they Prisoners, it's been far too long. Um, actually, Josh and I have rather enjoyed the break. Uh, no shitty movies for us is just fine. Yeah, I have to agree with Alex on this one, though. Though, Alex, I have to wonder, has the clown not been driving you crazy, man? What? Whatever do you mean? I'm his best friend. His homie. Really? Well... Josh, I'm going to be honest with you. After a while, the little bull distractor starts to actually grow on you. Silence! How dare you interrupt my son? He has an important message for you. Oh. My apologies, Mother Evil. Please continue. I don't need you to tell me to continue. Quiet! Oh, do you need me to tell you to continue, Master Evil? No, I don't need any prisoner to tell me to continue. I'm Master Evil. Huh? You need a clown to tell me to continue? Don't mind them, son. Don't Go ahead and continue. Clown! Ma! I'm the master, remember? God, how I feel insecure. Oh, man. Master Evil, I'm, I'm sorry, oh, Master Evil, Dark Lord of Darkness one. Just please choose what you would like Josh and I to do next. Is, is that what you were hoping that I would say? Is that the right thing? Silence! Mother and I have decided only one of you will be renewed for season four. And to decide, I had Mother order all kinds of weapons and torture devices from Evil Zahn, who has same-day delivery for free to Evil Masters. And you two will fight to the death. <laughs> Josh versus Alex. Oh, son, I thought you said Amazon. But we do have a Prime membership, so we still get two-day shipping. So the weapons and everything will be here in two days, not today. You really got to take that mask off when you talk to me. It's hard to understand. Curses! I'm surrounded by idiots! Dude. Dude. Yeah, man, dude. That, that's your mother you just called an idiot with us. Mm hmm What did you say, son? Um, I said, uh, I'm surrounded by idiots except for my amazingly sweet, loving, super-duper evil mom. But now, how do I decide which one survives to season four of Slash Tracks? I have to think, what shall I have them do while I ponder on this? Look, how about a movie? A versus movie, maybe? Ooh, yeah, son. How about Freddy versus Jason? That sounds absolutely evil. Open the vault. <laughs> if not for the music, I would think Ninja Turtles is on the way or Lord of the Rings. The red is a dead giveaway in the back there. It's like a nightmare 
New Line Cinema. The New Line Cinema logo from hell. I love how the movie is like jumps right into the to the Freddy and little kids in an angle. You know, they're, they're not going to waste any time. His shack is huge from this perspective. <laughs> So why why don't he get all the sharpening and stuff done before kidnapping the children? It's like uh, seasoning your meat beforehand. He's like getting ready to do. And also in Freddy's Dead, didn't he have like a bunch of different prototype gloves? Where are all those at? Or were that was that just at his house where he choked his wife out at? I've been told this is like a it it it's Freddy versus Jason, but it's almost kind of like what I'm doing with that short story. It's like an Elseworlds type thing. To where some of the stuff is canon, some's not. It's almost okay. like a different universe. How much, so, he, are, wait a minute. How much money is he saving on like adhesive, like glue and stuff, by just licking the newspaper articles and the photos before putting them in his scrapbook from hell? They throw those in. Oh, shit, wrong place. <laughs> it's like an old folks' home. Oh, God. It was what, Freddy. So wait, hold on a second. Right before he got arrested, like when he had Maggie and Freddy's dead, didn't he have a house? And like now he's like in a shack. Um, what happened financially to Freddy in between like the few months <laughs> between <laughs> he lost his house in three months? And they feared my 1980s CGI. Best scene ever right there. I love so the upside just, down filming. Just envision Freddy in hell around the water cooler. And he's like going into this monologue and like all the other serial killers and demons and stuff are like, yeah, we, we know Fred, like you tell the story every day. <laughs> he's like, he's like being ghosted. Now that hurt my feelings. <laughs> nobody I wants can't to come back. To if nobody will give the money for the budget. Oh, I got a question. I thought about this earlier. If he can't come back, if no one's afraid, like he's in hell, right? From Freddy's dead. Yeah. How? And and he lives off fear. So he's explaining that he can't come back unless people remember him. If that's the case, how come after the events of Freddy's dead, he couldn't just come right back? Right. Or, right? or, or when he says he searched the bowels of hell and he found someone. What if it was like, I found somebody, somebody that'll make him remember baby shark do to do to do <laughs> or it's like yeah baby shark or someone you never think of like bob ross or or gallagher or something and this girl's uh been tanning pretty hardcore in jason's dreams out of nowhere tina's dad pops up and grabs her and drags her down to hell <laughs> oh am i late i'm sorry it's hard to hear down there <laughs> here comes jaws <laughs> You ever been skinny dipping? It's pretty freeing. I have been, yeah, actually. <laughs> She's like, what is that noise? Is that shit, 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 or kiki, kiki? I can't tell. So this is Jason dreaming about this. So he's in hell dead. So he's just in a perpetual state of dreaming about murdering people at crystal lake then yeah, that, that would be heaven for jason though exactly. he got it good it's oh, hold on if he's if jason okay so jason's freddy's in jason's head right now in hell I don't know, <laughs> is he asleep is jason asleep no he's supposed to be in hell after the events of jason goes to hell i guess his body came up like a forest grew from where his body went down there's no house there anymore because like, his body just starts having a heart beating in it here in a minute. They didn't really... I don't think they really thought anybody was going to be smart enough to even think. You know? I don't know. Well, it's kind of weird. he's in hell. He's in hell. Um, So he's got to either be dreaming or daydreaming right now, this. Cool little side note, Slashaholics and Alex. Uh, the tree here in a minute, when the head starts morphing, it was supposed to be CG heads of all the victims of Jason from the old movies. But it would have cost too much. Well, they probably didn't have the rights from the previous Paramount movies either, to be honest yeah. with you, because it's a new line cinema film. They probably that's why they couldn't use Tommy Jarvis in the the later ones, because they didn't have the rights to that character.
that kid didn't do anything to Jason. He's just a masochist. I deserve to be punished. I deserve to be. I deserve it, Daddy. Hey, you're not Betsy Palmer. (laughs) She's doing a lot of acting with those eyebrows. And you've and you're not you're not yourself when you're hungry, Jason. Grab a Snickers so you can turn into Kane Hodder. <laughs> the reason Jason turned his head in confusion when his mom's speaking is because he's like, that's not my mom. <laughs> See, like, I thought he got drugged to hell. His body's just laying in the woods somewhere. Nobody went hunting and it's like, oh shit. <laughs> It like just enough time passed to where he could regenerate again. Like even though he went in hell, he's still regenerated in hell. Nobody thought that tree stump off looks an awfully lot like a, a hockey mask. I know he was buried like one foot down. Children for far too long. Jason will get the blood, and I'll get one kill. (laughs) Apparently, there's no dental plan in hell, because Freddy's teeth are a lot worse than they were in the previous installments. It's got a huge gap on the bottom there. I don't like how they went from, like, classic scores from it to uh, that music that's playing. And, like, I want to see Jason's trip from Crystal Lake, New Jersey, to Springwood, Ohio. You know, he's just poof. He's already there. Just any Elm Street, random Elm Street. So did he walk all the way here, or did he drive like he did in part two, or did he hitchhike, or did he Muppet map travel? We want to know. And why didn't Freddy tell him which Elm Street? Freddy literally knows every town has an Elm Street. All right, I got one for you. Mary, kill, or fuck. Freddy Krueger, Jason, and Michael Myers. Go. Uh, well, Freddy is more sexual than the other two, so I'm going to fuck Freddy. <laughs> uh, Jason is he's like... A, he's a mama's boy. He'd probably be gentle. So I yeah. go, like, he'd have a nice loving touch. Yeah. Michael would just straight up murder you. He'd just so go gotta... in for his, his own carnal desires. So I'm going to kill Michael. So I'm going to fuck... marry Jason and fuck Freddy. Okay. She's like looking in the mirror. You guys think this might be a foreshadow to something later? A foreshadow to a scene that doesn't even pay itself off. Because she wakes up to her nose getting ripped off. And then her nose is still present when she wakes up. Which makes no sense. Jason picks that cigarette butt up and goes, Oh my God, it's been like 10 years. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, nicotine. He's like the ghost in the movie Ghost. I'd give anything for just one drag. Guy opens the door, starts kissing the girl. Oh, whoa, wrong house. Mind if we come in? Do I look cool enough like a real hip teen? She's like, who invited the mid-20-year-olds over? There's no way they can hear what y'all's saying either. Two feet away from you. (laughs) Her first love, like, fuzzy bear that she used to sleep with. Why is she, why is Kia so worried about her love life? Like, where, she doesn't have a love interest in this film until freaking the very end. The very end. Yeah, she's she she's okay to, like, uh, return his infatuation at the end because she knows he's going to die. <laughs> yeah. It's like over my when, when will I finally be able to kiss you, Kia? Uh, over my dead body, and it's like, well, that's convenient because that actually happens. I want to see the behind the scenes stuff because they never actually have music playing when they're filming, and <laughs> they're sitting there like dancing and dry humping to nothing. Well, in uh, Friday the Thirteenth, uh, the final chapter, the Crispin Glover dance was set to a completely different song than oh, yeah. what's actually plane and i guess he just killed it <laughs> killed it dude's like come on don't you want some of my crabs you saw him scratching his junk earlier 
I feel like my nuts itched a lot more when I was in high school. <laughs> do you do you feel do you feel like that or like maybe our hygiene has gotten better as we've gotten older? Because I feel like when I was his age, I I itched my nuts a lot. <laughs> So you see a cute ass in him. That you, you you apparently do know what you see in him. Now hold on. She's got that one little candle. Is that what we're supposed to believe was lighting up, like illuminating that whole living room? Yes, it's it's a fifty watt candle. Wow. I think I had that exact sweater in two thousand three. <laughs> The one Key is wearing? That's cool. No, the one the guy who's going to get the <laughs> I don't even know his name. I've seen this movie like 40 times, and I still don't know that character's name. I pirated this movie before seeing it in theaters. I'm sorry, New Line. Robert Shea's watching this movie, and he just spit out his fresco all over the screen. <laughs> or he's watching this episode of Slash Tracks. What? Call Rhonda is on that message board. Yeah, oh, it is. Call Rhonda right there. It sure is. The same still, house. Still, nobody's called her after all these years. Different homeowners, different decades. Like mm, seriously, nobody, nobody. Yeah, nobody has returned the call. Oh, your back door's open. This wasn't open before. This is creepy AF. Not going to question how it got slammed shut either. So we're in the killer's POV right here, right? Yeah, Jason just lets himself in. He he must be. He, because yeah, we're in Jason's POV right now. Cause unless, uh, the no, unless Kia and Lori are watching. That sure made it, that sure made it look like they walked in and like walking in the door where they were fucking. Did it not? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I asked that. And also, what house has twelve post its on the message board? They, they didn't call like, like seriously, voice messages didn't exist back then in two thousand three. Nope, not yet. Yeah, I know. I wish you would have showered before you, this. That's why I don't want you touching me. Ugh. Hey, you like his asshole. Said it was cute. Oh, ass. Okay, cute ass. Yeah, she ass. didn't say anything about his brown eye, Josh. I'm what sorry. I, I misunderstood. She don't know what she sees in him. Man, that, that candle's awfully close to those towels, man. They got to worry about a fire more than Jason, I think. You know, I feel kind of weird being like a dad in, in like 40 watching old slasher movies with like naked, supposed to be teenagers in the shower. <laughs> oh, no, you smell like menthols. It looks from that POV, the way they filmed it, it looks like Jason's stabbing him straight in the ass crack. <laughs> He's like, let's see if she thinks you have a cute ass now. Oh, man, he just got folded up in that bed like an accordion. He didn't even shower yet, so he's got sex juice all over himself. He's just going to smell like hell. Wait, that bed wasn't a cot. That was a bed. How many beds, like, have a folding feature? Where's if, Jason at? Right? Where'd he go? He's like, oh, shit, oh, shit, I killed somebody. The cops are coming. I got to go. Exactly. What, <laughs> why is he on the run? Why doesn't he just stay and kill all of them and then kill the cops, too? He got all... Freddy got him all jacked up about killing, and then when he did, he's like, oh my god, what am I gonna do now? My life's over. What? Seriously, I'm being honest. I'm not even trying to be funny. Where did he go? This is totally out of character for him. He had to go spank it. He don't... He doesn't have the energy that Kane Hodder has his version of Jason, so he had to go get a granola bar and a juice. Do you, you see this? He's like, don't talk about Freddy's name in, in public while I scream about him in front of these children. I don't want these kids over here standing right behind us to know we're talking about Freddy Krueger, the child murderer that came back from the dead and killed people in their nightmares. We can't let like, them know about that. You mean... Do not, <laughs> do not mention it. So you don't want me to mention about Freddy Krueger, the child killer that came back from the dead? And kills people in their dreams. And he's and he just did it in front of the new deputy too. Don't you think the new deputy would be briefed about that before he started his new post in Springwood? Like, hey man, this is kind of the history here. Like, maybe like 
just don't ever bring his name up. Don't ever talk about him to anybody. Like, they didn't tell him shit. That actor playing the deputy right here, he deserves a pension for all the times he's played a police officer in a movie or TV show. I think his name is Lachlan Monroe, I yes. think. And I just, the first time I ever saw him was in Dead Man on Campus with mm -hmm. Mark Paul Gossler. And I just loved that movie. He That's kind of what made him a star, almost, or sort of star. Uh, he was just unhinged and great in that film. She thinks of Fred, but she's like Fred Kruger or something and ends up dreaming about some accountant from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, just totally did, like some other guy that is close to that name that's been waiting for his chance to get out of hell for like he was like evading tax. Like he, he was like cheating on his taxes or something. He's just like a CPA for, in hell. Mm -hmm. Hey, I love the, the coffee brand coffee machine there. <laughs> Yeah, hey, look at all those uh, missing persons posters. Are we sure we're not back in her kitchen and those all say call Rhonda? There's a liquor on the ceiling from Resident Evil. Don't look up. That shit scares me. They start I singing do remember back streets back. All right. I do remember seeing that in the theater and thinking that was a really cool effect. Yes, yes. Hey, bitch, it says it authorized personnel only. What are you doing? Oh, you better have your eyes, little girl. I swear to God, you better have your eyes. Or I'm going to scream. I told you. He's a CPA from Chicago. He cheated. He was cutting money off of people's taxes for himself. He took illegal PPP money from the COVID fund with the Red Power Ranger. They're coming back for you. You'll have to fill out all your forms on your own come income tax time. Sends him to it. Sends sends her to his office. <laughs> She's she's like, I don't remember my house having a graveyard out front. Three, four, he does his taxes at the door. <laughs> his Yelp score is great. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> He's in hell for it. <laughs> you have to put like a accountant on the thumbnail or something so freddy is okay so he's kind of just building up the fear here again right yes and do you, so okay hold on so do you think he realizes that he can't kill yet because he doesn't realize it till this scene not uh, strong enough alert. yet <laughs> yeah who's he talking to there uh right. he's literally is he the only person he could be talking to is the kid because he was in the kid's dream so he's like giving him the information he needs to not let him kill him. And of course, you know, a giant guy in a hockey mask killing everybody is uh, going to remind everybody of Freddy Krueger, the child murderer that comes into people's nightmares. <laughs> he go, he's in hell. And the only person he can find is OJ Simpson or. <laughs> oh, God. Something like that. OJ Simpson shows up in a Hertz rental car in this guy's dream. He's like, hey, I'm late for my flight. His dad's like you, yeah. and and only three drinks out of that flask before bedtime. I'm gonna go investigate the wind. It's, yeah, there's no wind at all, but the bush is moving violently. It's a velociraptor, clever girl. This I always thought this was a cheap effect. <laughs> Damn, Freddy Goat. He's been a bad boy. Uh, very 2003 CG. Like, it's not great. Never liked it. Freddie's like, I'm 60 years old. I'm not moving. Damn, Freddie's so weak, he's even out of breath. In the dream world. He's like, out of Do you see that? Yeah. Thanks for updating us, Freddie. Yeah, who is he talking to? We appreciate the update, buddy. 
And wait, he didn't remember Freddy. Hey, Dad, did you no. ever get ahead at your job? Ah! The only way, I guess, that he would even have any, like, connection to Freddy is when the cops, were, like, maybe he heard the cops talking about him out front during the investigation. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing that would make sense. Weston Hills is, like, fully funded by Fred Krueger. <laughs> Damn, that girl in the front there? She's, she must have been in Weston Hills since, like, 1988 because she looks like she's about 40. So, wait, do you, like, go apply to work at Weston Hills and you have to go through, like, Freddy Krueger training? But wouldn't yeah, that be, wouldn't yeah. that be counterproductive because all the people keeping it a secret still think about it and talk about it with the people that are also keeping it a secret? So he wouldn't really be forgotten. Or maybe they don't even know what they're trying to keep a secret. Maybe they're just told that you have to like any. Well, okay, if this is the case, though, how come they even have access to local cable? Like they wouldn't even have that, right? That's the first time that Will's seen Kruger News in Springwood. Uh, literally <laughs> in the last like six years or whatever he's been in this mental asylum for. He looks like Sean Hunter from Boy Meets World. He's like, I gotta get home and see Corey. That's his house. <laughs> Lori, Corey. Well. Don't make this about you, asshole. This is about me. Shit. I'm trying to get back to Lori's numbers. house so I can get laid, man. Hey, hey, is it okay if I eat this checker? Hey, hey. I always thought there was going to be some sort of payoff with this scene right here. Like he was going to be a previous character that we saw in a previous Nightmare on Elm Street film. Do you know what I mean? Like I always thought, but there was nothing. Like he's just an older patient, I guess. It's just completely nuts. Or he starts, yeah, he is completely nuts. He starts walking away going, by the way, Freddy's not strong enough yet. He's going to let Jason have some fun. He told me. The only way we can not die is if we get really good at checkers. <laughs> Freddy is really good at checkers. We need to beat him in checkers. Not Uno. How did those two, those parents have like two ginger kids? You know, that's a great question. And you know what? Sometimes that does actually happen because oh, okay. red hair is like a recessive gene. Or I'm not even sure if that's the proper terminology, but it can it can randomly appear in a like a DNA sequence. It's got electrolytes. I needed dude. Will was like, I need a distraction, so he goes and does that. They tie him up and everything, and Will's like, dude, I meant I need a distraction tomorrow, but thank you. This guy who's going to put the needle in his ass looks like R. Kelly. And when he puts his ass up on the glass, he's like, no underage person bears their ass in Weston Hills without me getting some action. Oh, no. <laughs> Doesn't he look like R. Kelly just a little bit? A little bit, a little bit. You said I needed to distract him. I meant tomorrow, dude. Shit. Josh, I'd put my cheeks on the glass for you to save you, man. I'd do it. <laughs> Hey, look, they're coming outside to where uh, Child's Play 3, where they do the marching in the rain uh, at the military camp, look like the same area. <laughs> they all have paintball guns that look like actual fucking rifles and work like real rifles. This is my weapon. This is my gun. This is for shooting. This is for fun. I don't know in the history of paintball guns if there were ever paintball guns that were designed like a like a rifle like that. They're the reason they started putting the orange on paint guns. <laughs> now, I've never seen a, ri a, a paint rifle bullet like that either. Yeah, like, I'm just saying, uh, that's got to be like a Child's Play 3, 3 thing. It looked like a full metal jacket, too, like the bullet and everything. So yeah. Exactly. Damn, one sip? What would have happened if she drank the whole glass, Dad? She'd get fucking go into a coma, an orange juice coma, Josh. She had one drink and passed out a little bit. The doctor's like, how come your daughter's in a coma? What happened? All I, I, I gave her some orange juice. She wanted to do a fucking vitamin C overload. <laughs> She's too healthy now. I'm too good of a father.
Damn, he does want to kill her. Did she drink the juice, sir? No, I tried my best. Well, we're going to have to take her out. So the sheriff just walks into the house. He doesn't, like, knock or make himself known or, like, address that he's there. Nothing. Just walks straight in the house, dude. Yeah, and they're talking about Freddy and keeping Freddy a secret. But if all these people know about Freddy and discuss Freddy out of earshot of other people, they're still remembering Freddy. So... Exactly. Can you can you imagine going to school like the next day and trying to focus on like fucking economics or like algebra one? Like how I couldn't even focus on it when it was close to lunchtime, let alone Freddy Krueger's coming back after my ass. That would be the I'd have the worst report card ever this semester if I lived in Springwood. Well, the girl in the hat finally gets division after last night. No, that would be a school shooting, not, like, killing one person at a party, but okay. Am I doing an okay job acting, or should I stick to singing? God, man, look at his vest over that button-up, man. This, that is 2002, if I've ever seen it, Josh. Mm-hmm. I went to high school with a kid who used to like his locker was empty. He would carry every book in his backpack all day long. Like he'd have his entire contents of his locker in his backpack. I bet he's got back problems now. Oh, he's like, yeah, early forties. He's just fucked. Like scoliosis got to him early. Hey, it's Jay and yeah. silent Bob and silent that Jack tops. Black. That talks. Yeah, si that's a Jack Black ripoff, and that is a Jay ripoff. It's the Toy Man from Smallville. R.I.P. Shaq. Yes. And if you don't like him, then why don't you go find yourself a pig to fuck? This dream that was a dream was really real. And he wanted to do my taxes and keep some of my money. <laughs> Why is everyone freaking out? Like, wouldn't they just walk? Like, she wasn't she wasn't freaking out yet. So why are they all freaking out? Now she's freaking out. They're all Why would they just randomly stop. They're all stopping to tell her it's okay. He doesn't have. He's not strong enough yet. He's just gonna let Jason have some fun. <laughs> Where the hell did they get normal clothes? Were they at his house, like, where they get the van? And also, where are his parents? And How he has access to that house now. And what if she hadn't heard that song in the dream yet, and he just walked up singing it? Like, what the fuck is that? And nobody recognizes him from, like, eighth grade or freshman year. They're like, oh, he's back. <laughs> Why and didn't y'all walk in coffee. together? Why did he come from the other direction? <laughs> so we could have a hero's entrance. And, and Mark is like, and if you want coffee, the best place to get coffee is at the machine that says coffee. At the police station. At the police station, where they Will, tell you all about Freddy with every cup of coffee you purchase. Will's like, come on, let's go talk to Mr. Feeney. He'll help you. Oh, man. What a missed opportunity. Mr. Feeney uh, involved in a Freddy Krueger flick. There he oh. is. There's Feeney. Bob Shea gets his little cameo that they cut out of the movie. Did you notice that? They cut out yeah. his line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He would always, uh, Slashaholics, obviously, he you can see him in most Freddy flicks. He's like a little cameo. Different person in every film. I'm not going to say the name, but there's also a guy that if they ever film on his properties, a demand is he gets to be in the movie for like a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's oh. Donald Trump. Yeah. I'll say his name. It's a great way to build your resume and your <laughs> IMBD profile. <laughs> what kind of magazines are they putting in the in the nurse's office waiting room? What the hell? Okay, hold on one second. She's asking the school nurse about anesthesia for nose jobs. That school nurse probably got that job through a Craigslist ad and is not an actual nurse. You see the sign on there that said the nurse can't help you? I did not, but I saw the gloves and the hat kind of like presented behind the desk. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of cool. A little. 
Oh my God, oh. it's an actual soda brand. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, Josh, can you can you imagine having a 2003 Coke right now from that machine? How good that would be? Oh man, but not at our school. Why not? That's what the banner above the Coke machine said. Not at our school. <laughs> <laughs> You're not drinking Coke. Not in our not in our watch. Hold on. Those cops know it's the two suspects they're looking for, but they show no urgency at all. They're, they're like, just we meandering. We don't get paid enough. Like, fuck this. Like, we're Reed, good. Read. Read. Open it. Some of these signs, people. Ladies and gentlemen, the fucking card catalog is behind the two boys. There it is. Yep. Top left, the card catalog. Did you ever see that show back in like the 80s at school where like the people from the future are in space and they find a library and they learn the Dewey Decimal System and stuff? No, it's amazing that they learned it because I didn't even learn it when they were trying to teach it to me I actually, in that time frame. My uh, school job, like like once a day when I was like in fifth grade, we had to like help out with something in the school, every student. Mm -hmm. Mine was putting books up in the library, so I learned it. Did they go alphabetical or did they go by year they were made or how did that work? It was uh, first by genre and then uh, like numbers on the book. It, it was alphabetical order. It was weird, man. It, it changed. It was all over the place. The only book I was worried about finding, there's two books that I wanted to find. I wanted to find Where's Waldo and I wanted to make sure there wasn't one where he was fucking circled on every page. And I was also concerned with finding the scary stories book uh i just wanted to use the cutter thing to cut out the little foam shapes and stuff <laughs> we had a um we had a librarian mrs warner at my grade school and she could like when she read books to the to the library you'd go in for library it was like a separate class and she would be able to read the book while showing the pictures to the kids but she's reading the book without looking at the pages i still don't know how she did that huh Your crabs? Oh, that was that other guy. Let's just leave everybody here. Let everybody die, man. Well, when Jason put that machete up that guy's ass in the first scene, there's crabs all over that blade. So whoever he kills with that blade for the rest of the film is going to get crabs. For like the last five seconds of their life? Yeah, they get like chlamydia, like some sort of syphilis is on that blade, Josh. I am very concerned. They're going to get that last minute STD. Oh my god. Uh I think my balls itch. Oh wait, I'm dead. <laughs> what is that weird discharge from my gentles? Oh, I'm dead. Hold on one second. I had a truck with neon lights under my dash around this time frame. They only lasted, I mean, if you used them like every time you drove at night, they they would last about 6 months. He's been in that psych ward for four years, and his brother's yeah. been dead since that. You're telling me those fucking neon lights still work four years later? Come on. A cool little tidbit in the novelization for this movie, when they're on their way to the party, they actually pass Jason walking on the side of the road and think he's just a creepy hitchhiker. Okay, love that. Love that. I wish they included that. That's great. He <laughs> just spit in your mouth, dude. That's the complete opposite of every party I went to in college. Uh, people were really stingy with their alcohol then. People Jason's just like, like, oh, yeah? No, people weren't just like shoving it in my mouth for free. It's like you <laughs> had to like work, like figure out some sort of angle where you could get free booze. Jason's like, I'll show these teens how to hit a pipe. Oh, thanks, Kia, for the beer and the cock block. Appreciate it. Oh, he looks like he could be related to Paul Rudd at this point. Hmm. And Paul Rudd, coincidentally, at the age of 50, looks like the kid at this age, at the age of 20, right now. He looks like an awesome Ghostbuster, I'll tell you that. It's fucking Ant-Man, right there on screen. He's Nat-Man. <laughs> Paul Rudd, totally off topic. It was a great selection to be a Ghostbuster, though. Yes, he, yes, he fit, yes. Like, had he have been around in 84, 
he would have been a good choice then. His personality is really good for the way Ghostbusters has always been written and portrayed. And the OG Ghostbusters are going to be like stars in this new one, not just cameo. So I can't wait to see him and Bill Murray in a scene together. Tall, dark, and horny. At 6 o'clock. Who's here? Oh. And that dude's like, well, there goes my chance. My, like, one in a million chance. Where wh- where have they been eating? Did they, where where did Will and Mark eat today? <laughs> uh, they, they went and got Jason Voorhees burgers. <laughs> I'm I'm just being serious, man. He must have like, I know that back in the day when there was a chance of like getting some action or having sex at some point when I was younger, I was like, I didn't give a shit about food. I didn't give a shit about breathing. I didn't give a shit about anything. Well, maybe I wanted to breathe because I want to stay alive to have sex, you know, maybe in the future. Yeah. I Maybe he's so like preoccupied with the thought that he might get to have sex with Lori that it's like, fuck food. I, I don't care. I literally got, got to get to this cornfield rave to have sex with Lori. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm still alive. Okay, bye. And and they were like trying to get my dad to give me a weird glass of orange juice this morning. Are you are you safe? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, well I gotta go back to Weston Hills. I'm just checking. <laughs> Make sure you, you call Rhonda. God, cock block number two. She's batting a thousand. She's like, I gotta go see a man about a dog. It's fucking Billy Idol creepily watching her in the background. Well, Jason was booking it. Did you see that? <laughs> That's how he gets places. He doesn't yeah. teleport. He's just really fast. Give me some head. <laughs> Give me some neck. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some neck and an ass crack while you're at it. I know I'm drunk, but I'm going to go ahead and do what the the decapitated head told me to do. I'm not going to argue with the decapitated head. Dude, she hasn't had sex in like 24 hours, man. She's horny. She's got needs. She's like, ah, I know he's a decapitated body with blood all over it, but man, he has got a cute ass. It's like (laughs) his... He's still got an ass, like, even though his head and neck are just fucking completely destroyed. The ass is still there. And it's adorable. Wow. Those corn silos, is that what this is? Or or whatever they are, those are fucking huge. They look like the two towers in the Lord of the Rings. Right? Ah, red lighting. I wonder who's in here. Fred Kruger, the CPA. (laughs) He's getting ready to do your taxes when you know you owe money. Say hi to audit. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that was a cool effect. I see some deductions that you shouldn't have made, bitch. She's twitching. Is she like having a seizure over there? She's in REM sleep, dog. Hey, speaking of Ghostbusters, that looked like the containment unit. Yeah, she, this is, she's in a containment unit right now. Dickless over there. Did it? Is that true? Yes. It's true. This man has no dick. No, Dickless isn't in this movie. His name is Necklace. Oh, okay. <laughs> Necklace? Yeah. Necklace. Yeah, Freddy's like, I'm 60. I'm not chasing nobody in this movie. I'll just stand around laughing. (laughs) Every time you say Freddy's 60, I think of Molly Shannon when she was in SNL, and she's like, I'm 50. (laughs) (laughs) Look what I can do, because I'm 50. Did you meet my little baby-faced dogs? No, I didn't see any. God damn it. (laughs) I paid good money for those... (laughs) No, he just doesn't have the power enough to conjure up human-faced dogs right now. (laughs) Not strong enough yet. But soon I'll have what I need. Dogs with the face of baby dolls. (laughs) (laughs) That serve absolutely no purpose, bitch. I'm not going down there. Fuck that. 
Okay, what's up with the foreplay if you're just going to, like, rape somebody that's passed out? <laughs> I know. Well, this scene, first of all, is cringy it's, it is cringy. now, and it, it was is. super cringy back then, but it it I'm definitely pleased when he gets uh, shanked through the gut like a shish kebab by Jason. And I, I apologize for talking about proper rape etiquette. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounded so bad. And You're I'm canceled. So sorry. <laughs> Well, my brother, the spoiler, I think I've mentioned this before, like we've we've watched horror movies together growing up and he would always make the same weird comment like, oh, Jason's just going to kill these hot girls. I mean, you should at least have sex with them first. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> like, what a waste. And I'm just like, dude, what like record like scratched, you know, just stops. He'll never know which locker I'm in. <laughs> Is it the one that keeps slowly opening? <laughs> Man, do you know how hard it would be to open a locker combo with a fucking blade glove, though? Like, trying to do that, you know? That was funny. First number, spin around, second number, third number with that glove. Oh, my God, yes. That was pretty cool, though, that, you know, he's about to get his kill and Jason takes it from him. <laughs> and Jason is just a straight-up great white. Just d d d no thought process, just kill him. Dude, quit screaming like that. You kind of look like the dude that played you in the remake. <laughs> Stop it. They're watching like the dude, like Jason kill the person. Look at this scene. Just the way it's set up, dude. This looks like a Cheech and Chong movie. Yes. Hey, you're not Kane Hodder. And Jason's like, okay. And he goes, fucks a pig, comes back. <laughs> so, uh, so Jason's clearly like 6'9 here, right? With a hockey mask on and his skin is clearly decaying. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how good that Everclear is and that weed is. You're not saying this to that person. It's ridiculous. No, no. Man, Jason, he's a hell of a dancer. He is on fire at that rave. Yeah, he's burning up the dance floor, literally. Uh, Slashaholics, here we go. Shaq, this scene has bothered me since I've seen it in the theater. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. He is holding the blood in his mouth here in a second. Right before the machete goes through his chest, you can see that the blood is being held in his mouth prior. Well, maybe he's got an ulcer, man, and it was just filling up because he was, he was anxious and nervous from running. Or he just has bleeding gums. He has yeah, terrible there it is. health care. Oh, yeah. It was so obvious he had it in his mouth. So obvious. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude. Like, and also, if his, if he has that bad of uh, oral health care, like, he's got bigger problems than a flaming machete going through his chest. I'm still going to stick with the fact that uh, he, did, he he has bleeding ulcers and... If he has bleeding ulcers like that, drinking Everclear straight, probably not the best idea. <laughs> That's what caused him to start bleeding. I'm just kidding. It's pretty bad. Dude, how sharp is that machete? It's sliced through the side of a fucking keg, Josh. Hey, and you know, I think I know what's really up with Jason killing everybody. He's like really, really frustrated now because he's been clean and sober for so many years. He's had a cigarette thrown at him and beer thrown on him. And I just and realized, and ever clear, and the guy he just killed the second guy with the machete was the same guy as the first person he hit with the machete. Uh, go back and watch that, folks. <laughs> he killed the same guy twice in that scene. Yep. That whole that goalie was really pissed off. Oh, thank you, thank you, pothead. The levity is appreciated. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. One of your best friends just got murdered right in front of you, and he's making fucking jokes. Guaranteed that van, if it hasn't been driven in four or five years, those plates are expired. <laughs> she's, yeah, and she's like, her, I can't believe she, I know, I can't believe she fucked that guy either. No, I'm talking about that she got killed. Yeah, but did you see that asshole at the house the other night? He was like, a, he was really mean to her. Like, it was a really bad decision.
She's like, just go in there and talk to Corey. I'm sure he misses you too. Mr. Squirrel pops out of the hedge at the window here. Brother! <laughs> He's got a big Moses stick and a robe on. Got a sucker like tied around his neck and his beard. <laughs> Feeny, 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 feeny. No, he's all Freddy, 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 Freddy. Freddy. Fr -fr 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 Freddy. <laughs> Freddy. To, to have sex in the middle of the night while your dad slept. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> he's younger here, Josh, because his hair is combed to the side. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's how we know he's younger. His hair is combed over. Listen, I'm the only one who gets to have sex with my daughter. Do you know who my dad is? It's John Ritter, damn it. Yeah, you're definitely not a maniac. That's <laughs> That's why you're choking a teenager to death right now. Well, the dad's upset, man. His wife got killed by Freddie years ago, and he's wanting to bone his daughter. He's extremely sexually frustrated, and he's trying to take out his aggression on this new guy who's trying to sleep with his daughter, too. Your mom was a real bitch, okay? I had to kill her. The only thing being killed in this scene right here is the electric bill, because that fucking door is wide open during a storm. It's probably letting the cold air right in, Josh. I know. The cold, the the heating bill, excuse me, the weather, the cold air has more kills than Freddy in this film. All the pneumonia. <laughs> Freddy versus Jason versus the electric company. You mean the boyfriend that you dated? Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, yeah, I did, Lori. Will you just have some juice? I've got a nice orange juice for you. <laughs> Alex, I think you're a little stressed. You need to relax. How about I give you some pills that I have in my pockets? Here, come here. <laughs> he had it in a fucking holster, like an Old West gunfighter. <laughs> he had it, had it right on his hip. Dun, 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 Laura said, dun, 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 Oxycontin. Freddy versus Jason versus Rufalin. Kick the door catch. It's easier. Call Rhonda! <laughs> <laughs> For reals! Here comes Mr. Squirrels. Michael Myers steps out from the hedge. Oh, oh, wrong place. Oh, exactly. It does look like Haddonfield. Did, did you drink any juice? I had a little bit. Oh my god, I feel like I drank some of that. That was blurry as shit. Oh my god. Ow. <clears throat> Can't trust your taxes consultants. Can't trust your CPA. Can't trust anybody that does your taxes in this town. As long as he hasn't been killed by Freddy yet since I left him alone. Where the hell are his parents in this house? Hey, you know who his older brother is? It's the guy from uh, The Christmas Story. Oh, yeah. That's Scott Farkas. Yeah. Or whatever his name is. Bart Farkas or Scott Farkas? I can't remember. He's the one who uh, bullies Ralphie and then gets his ass kicked. He's in an episode of Always Sunny that's fucking hilarious. He was on the TV show Titus on Fox. He's yes. been in a bunch of stuff. He's actually really funny. He is. He's a good guy. Yeah, I'm just going to open the door and look at who's showering or bathing in here. I, Josh, I had a dream very similar to this scene. I think I told you about it. When my grandpa passed away, he used to take baths and steam would come, come, um, come up from underneath the door. And I like went in there. And I saw my grandpa in there, and I was like, hey, grandpa, what, what's going on? You're dead. And he was like, well, I need you to tell your mom I'm okay. Like, it was just like that. Wow. I'm being serious. No, I believe you. You should have taken some wake aid so you didn't have dreams like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't, here's me right now. Grandpa's looking back at me. <laughs> Dude's got to go put go to the list underneath Call Rhonda and put and add Wake Aid to the list of stuff to pick up at the store. The Trinity Killer killed me. <laughs> the Dexter reference, Man, I, folks. I don't know uh, how clean he's getting in that tub. Is that blood or is that like you know, like when you get in an old bathtub when the water comes out of rusty pipes? <laughs> Oh my god, really bad practical effect worms are digging into my ankle. I know. Dream Warriors had a better practical effect 20 years prior with the marionette. Yeah, that dude in the bathtub looked just like Dexter's wife in the bathtub in season four with the Trinity Killer. I have not seen Dexter all the way to season four. I actually just uh, started watching season one last okay. week. I love the show. Um, okay, I, I like what I see so far. He's kind of a hard character to to root for, though. He's he's pretty evil. Things things get better. I mean, he only kills really really bad people that uh, get slipped through the cracks and kill other people. Okay, because he looks like he really enjoys what he does. Well, he does, he does. But you'll okay. find out his dad kind of did that to him. It's kind of sad. Okay. Um, he tries to become more human. Give it, give, give it, follow it through. Freddy finally gets a kill, folks. It's a shame they kill him here, too, because he was the one... This character, in particular, was the one dumping all the plots and exposition. Like, he was the one basically explaining the rules of everything. He was bringing Freddy back to everybody's... He was telling everybody Freddy should have used him. He's all, I won't do it. I won't, I won't do it. Even though I've been doing it the entire film up to this point. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. Does he mean that Freddy's returned or that that back belongs to Freddy? Um, both. And also, I wonder, if, <laughs> I wonder if when uh, Jason saw that, he's like, oh, he's trying to one up me. So he like, when he put the machete through that guy's ass crack, I wonder Freddy's if he said, ass? Jason, no, Jason's ass. <laughs> I love what the this guy says here. Not him, the young guy. Here we go. Wait for it. Voldemort? Candyman? The Jason Voorhees, Roy, whatever is Roy Burns, Crystal Lake Killer here. Are you going to put that cigar out in my face? Because <laughs> He's all, don't ever bring that name up again. And he puts the cigar on his forehead. That's... Looks like he's about to start doing like the old, uh, what's his name thing? The old bit with the glasses and the mustache and the Groucho Marks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever bring that name up again. See? <laughs> Okay, where's this at? Whose house is this? Is this Freeberg's house? I don't know. I don't know how the cop finds him there either. <clears throat> Did they get on Craigslist and put Freddy meeting? Why? Okay, they're trying to stay awake, right? Why the hell is Will drinking a fucking Sprite? Oh, not only that, here comes... This scene has one of the worst lines in the whole movie. The water and fire line. Yeah, because they edited it terribly here. It makes no sense. It's like out of nowhere. What, was he just standing there the whole time? Like, waiting e for ev <laughs> Dude, every cop in Springwood just walks into rooms and houses without proper jurisdiction or, or search warrants or anything. They just go right in. How did you know where to go? Hey, you know how the cops are just walking into rooms without search warrants and stuff? That's why Freddy exists in the first place in this town, because they didn't sign the search warrant correctly, remember? Exactly. Just a bunch of fuck-ups. They haven't learned their lesson in like 30 years. Oh, here comes our exposition on Jason. Now, as a rational cop, I believe every, every bit of the story. And I'm fucking stoned as shit. Yeah. 
and I'm in a whole nother fucking franchise and I'm in this film. So someone definitely <laughs> is breaking the rules here. Oh, our line's coming. We're going to take a step back for a minute. Here it is. I don't know, burn one and drown the other? <laughs> They're like, and then they don't even address what she said. Did you see that? Yeah. It'd be funny if they were like, uh, we got to do da 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 and somebody's like, wait, what if we don't have to? And they're like, oh, that would be a lot easier, actually. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, nobody listened to Lori right now. It, I mean, actually ever, because her dad constantly is drugging and doping her. She doesn't know what she's saying half the time. Somebody's like, I wonder if Freddie's strong enough to hurt us yet. Yeah, tie the bitch up. I mean, she what she you know, she is in Destiny's Child. She does have a point. The fact that she wasn't able to realize she's in a nightmare when this started happening I means she doesn't know her friends that well. <laughs> I know she doesn't trust any of them clearly if that's this is totally oh look and she totally is buying that her dad's trying to like have sex with her here oh Freddie don't do this it's 2024 what'd you rip off you don't have any ears a bloody old rotten stump of an ear Latex! Oh, I'm allergic! The cop's like, I think that was a copycat of Freddy's ear. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it. Did you not listen to Freddy explain everything at the beginning? God! Well, they better shut up since they're all awake. I mean, Freddy's ear is in the real world. He's fucking hearing everything they say. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie's like, now that my ear is in the real world, I can hear all their plans, even when they're not asleep, those little piggies. <laughs> Made by the creators watch... of Wake Aid. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out, Josh, what you're fucking saying. Freddie's ear is right there. He can hear everything in hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know how to drive, bitch. You think I'm that, like, un incapable? <laughs> What does the gas mileage on that van get? They got one fucking security guard for the entire loony bin. The cop's like, yeah, this looks like a good place to die. Oh, yeah, because every uh, psychiatric facility has a fucking computer, bat, you know, a bat computer downstairs. Dude, I mean, come it, on. Looks, it looks like the wizard's computer from the old black and white Batman serials. Remember it, the giant it, computers? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. It looks like this is what the internet looked like when it first was invented. <laughs> that is, this, is an, this is the internet. Internet slash Alex. This is a 1945 computer. Yeah. Hey, Jason at least knocks, right? Yeah. He's got, so he, the, cops, the cops could learn a lesson in Springwood from Jason. Wait, who's knocking? Oh, it's Heisenberg. He's the one that knocks. Yeah, that was Freeberg. Okay. Well, the one security guard is dead. <laughs> Big bitch. Big bitch. Big bitch chase me. <laughs> that guy's making like 16 bucks an hour, and now he's dead. That's that's what John Candy would have looked like after a grizzly bear jumped on him on that door in the great outdoors. Oh, for sure. <laughs> the bear would be ripping his gut open because it was filled with gristle and fat and steak. Just trying is, to get that old 69er out of him. This is the cloning lab. That's exactly what it says on their on those pieces of paper. They're in a coma. Exactly. They were given too much hypnosil and not enough wake aid. We only had one pill left. So they're all just in a coma, a dream coma, just shitting and pissing themselves all day long on that slab. And apparently being really high is the same as being asleep. He might he might be micro sleeping. Freddie's like Oh, 
something I haven't had in a long time. I've been away from my bud for far too long. Did he just pull that out of his ass? I think he pulled that this out is, of his ass, Alex. <laughs> he might. This has got very uh, Alice in Wonderland vibes. That's what I always thought. The CGI looks like a PlayStation 2 game. No, this is terrible. This didn't age well at all. They could have made a practical... Like, even the Freddy baby from uh, Dream Child was better than that. What? I mean, Freebird does have drugs all the time. He must have had some wake aid on him. He's like, what? Little, little, little Timmy fell in the well? Who's little Timmy? And I didn't know he had a well. He's already, he died? Okay, well, I'm just going to leave him down there. I don't want to answer all those questions. Dude, if there's a well in Springwood, you know that thing goes straight to fucking hell. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'll do it anyways. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it. Uh, no impulse control at all. I'm not pouring these down the drain unless some giant fucking caterpillar makes me yeah that didn't so, kill him <laughs> yeah no i was gonna say freeberg is just a meat suit at this point right he's dead yeah i love when freddie tells them go bitch i got it or whatever or i can handle let me handle this bitch <laughs> yeah well that death was very shocking alex <laughs> I remember seeing him die in the theater and I was actually kind of sad because I liked his character. He plays a cop in so many things, it's crazy. Paul Rudd's a bad I, shot, shot the light out. <laughs> I loved his character in Night at the Roxbury where he's training uh, Chris Kattan and Will Ferrell and he's talking. To, he's seriously talking to them about how he's worried about their glutes. <laughs> Wait a second, they're running from Jason... The lights flicker, and they're like, never mind, let's go back up there and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go back upstairs where all hell's breaking loose. You, you don't need to keep looking. You need a fucking plumber <laughs> to pull up in those pipes and get those goddamn pills out of there. Uh, okay. Uh, never mind. You're good. <laughs> uh, total side note here. The actor playing Freeberg and doing Freddy right here, his mannerisms and his facial, uh, We're you know, great. movements and stuff. He's doing a great job. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why would Jason? Why would Freddy care about being cut in half in that dude's body? Uh, probably just pain. I'm sure he could have feel if he's if he's actually inhabiting that body. He probably feels pain. You know, I, you could be killed as many times in the real world as you want, but it probably still hurts. She's like, did any of y'all hear that little echo of what he just said that I just heard again? About taking him back where he belongs. Seriously, though. So Jason is like, he's obviously not a deadite then. How you can't like he's a he's an actual human. You can you can drug him. Yeah, right? it's it's like an else world thing. That's kind of what I'm doing with my story too. It's not a deadite. I'm just confused by it. Like, is he actually dead or what? Because he. I think he's just, he's regenerated, but he never gets a chance to regenerate all the way because he gets he's constantly fucked, getting fucked yeah. up and shit. Yeah. I, you know what? I could see that. And also like in Jason X, when they have him at the he's, he's almost facility, human again. Yeah. Yeah. He's like turning into like a normal looking person. If you ever listen to the one I'm writing, he's been a, by himself for like three or four years and he's like back to like part three and part four shape. 
Not my arm with the claw. That would suck. Don't shoot. I'm an unarmed man. Jason's like, that's something new. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yes, I love that he, you know, this is, I love the fight scenes between Freddy and Jason. They did a good job with that. Uh, the fight scene at Crystal Lake is, to this day, still one of my favorite scenes in any movie I've ever seen. I love it when Freddy wakes up and realizes he's in the real world, in the burning building. Although he would have been dead after being ran through the window and stuff. Like, he wouldn't have lasted nearly as long as he did in the real world. <laughs> no, his ribs would have, his entire torso would have been crushed. Freddy's like, there's fucking syphilis on that blade. <laughs> right? This was always funny. I liked it. It's pretty cheesy, but... It's not, like, overboard, though. Like, I can see why they... Like, it's it's not Dream Child cheese. It's like, this makes sense. Freddy's having a fucking blast right here. <laughs> why do you have to, like, pull the things out? It's your dream world. Just, like... Make it fall. <laughs> like, who's he doing the theatrics for? Jason is out. <laughs> he's got a GoPro right now. Huh? He's got. He's going to go back and redo the footage, rewatch it. Because Mama told me to kick your. Mama said. Mama said what? What? How's that song go? What? Mama said, knock you out. Oh, Mama said, knock you out. That's why I'm I won't die. Uh-oh, Jason's all of a sudden a little pussy, everybody. I've got like a theory about this. He's He's been in water before as an adult, and it don't bother him. I think because he's in a nightmare. It's like a more supernatural thing. That well, or this movie just fucked up Jason's stuff. I'm going to go with that. And also, like, he can't just sidestep the waterfall. Like, he can't go to the right or left. He walked literally under the ocean all the way to New York, people. Yeah. He did the fucking Super Mario Brothers 3 level 8 underneath the boat thing. Like, he was swimming the entire way. I picture him just walking on the floor of the ocean, honestly. The pressure wouldn't get him nothing. Like... Well, couldn't you have just brought him out here by yourself? Shit. Why'd we have to come? No, like, really, why'd we have like, to come? <laughs> like, we, we couldn't have fucking called him an Uber. We had to take him ourselves. Spring Springwood Taxi shows up to take him to, to fucking Crystal Lake, and they just stuff $500 in his pocket, and he's like, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'll do it. What, is he not your type? He's a kid. Well, and he's a boy. <laughs> and Jason's like, wait, that's not my mom. <laughs> that's not Betsy Palmer, Freddy. Uh, so, yeah, it, it sucks she killed an old lady, but, uh, yeah, that's not my mama. Yeah, she seemed like a nice lady. Oh, this part always hurts my head. Ah, 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 ah. You almost no. sounded like you and Josh, you almost sound like you enjoyed it there. You're like, oh, oh. no, that, that, oh my God, Al. I love Jason's, uh, I was looking for a shot of this to use for my thumbnail. Yeah. For my, uh, for that, you know, the one you made for me, something like yeah. this, but I can't find like a still image, but yeah, this is wicked. The, his dream world thing with all the dead bodies in the water. He back in 2012 when the, uh, home, uh, owner's market was like really high <laughs> and inflated. Even this piece of shit house was valued at three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> right. Oh, nip slip. Well, why don't you wait till he starts moving and then give him more drink? <laughs> why? Do you... Well, where where the hell is Lori's dad when you actually need him? Like, fucking give Jason some juice. Right. 
Fuck, man. Where's the orange juice when you need them? Fuck. I'm going to see Will being like, dude, you weren't supposed to just keep putting the needles in him the whole trip. You wait until he starts moving. I don't like, know if I'd wait till he started moving. Would you? At, at I don't least, think I would. And they, did they really just drive all the way from uh, Ohio to Crystal Lake, New Jersey with him? At, they didn't get pulled over once or anything? Stop for gas at all. <laughs> you know that van gets shitty gas mileage and it hasn't had a tune-up in five fucking years. And the parents haven't been around to like change the oil or anything or anything. Same spark plugs from fucking 1997 or whatever year the, his brother died. She's in Crystal Lake. It's just a rich man's retreat for like CPAs. No, but this isn't even what happened in like he died because the two counselors were making love. This is not what happened. Well, no, I don't think he so, dies here. It's just he. this is one of the days he was being picked on. But yeah, you're right. That's it's it, it definitely makes it seem like that's what happened to him. And I'm 60. Please leave me alone. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this Cialis do its job, okay? The Cialis. I'm not wasting this pill, this little blue pill, okay? If Freddie's if Freddie Freddie sponsored Viagra. The pill isn't blue. It's red and green striped. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, your dick stays awake. Okay, I'll wait to stop. I'll stop drowning long enough since you said wait. <laughs> really? You're not going to help him because he's ugly? You're the reason he died. Well, where is, where's Rennie uh, from Takes Manhattan? Isn't she supposed to be getting pulled underwater by that version of Jason? I think that she saw Kid Jason as like an illusion because he hallucinates Kid Jason the whole movie. But I think mm -hmm. when she was getting pulled down, she had been thrown out in the water above where Tommy and them had chained Jason to the bottom of the lake. And it was like yeah. adult, I think it was adult Jason grabbing her foot. And she was so scared she just saw boy Jason because her uncle had just told her that story. That's my theory on it. How come her hallucinations throughout the film of Jason as a kid changed from a normal boy to a hydrocephalic boy? Did you notice I, that? Yes. Oh, my God. Like, what's that all about? And he gets washed away by the toxic sludge at the end. Like, she's hallucinating seeing him sitting there quivering and shit. He's not even really there. Yeah, give him mouth to mouth, woman. Can you imagine how bad his breath smells? Probably as bad as that, like, ashtray I drank. <laughs> He's got some of them Bubba teeth they used to sell at gas stations. He's like, I ain't getting kissed by no girl. Mama said, that's bad. <laughs> Mama said, girls are the devil. Jason well, just I flying like through football. the air. <laughs> I like football. And I like killing. And I like Vicky Valencourt's movies. And I like Camp Crystal Lake too. Best scene of Freddy in the movie right here. Love it. Miss your wake up call? Yes. <laughs> Oh, cool. I'm definitely not still asleep. I'm back home. Oh, shit. It's a fish. It's a giant fish. I'm afraid of giant fish. I ain't going in there. Wait, why? it doesn't say Camp Crystal Lake. It said Lake Crystal. Did you ever notice that? Uh-uh. It didn't say Crystal Lake. It said Lake Crystal. Gotcha. They, they, they changed it so people didn't, you know, think it was Crystal Lake. Oh, my God. We'll call it that Lake like... Crystal. Nobody will know the difference. Exactly. Sure, that sign would just happen to be left up there for 20 years on top of that roof. Never blew off in a storm. Nothing. Fucking American pickers show up and see that sign and they start bartering with Jason. 
Like, oh, I'm kind of a sign guy. That's an old one from the 50s. I'll, I'll give you $10, <laughs> Jason. Jason just fucking rips their head off. Why was he going after the mom for? I don't get it. I I don't know. She's not a teenager. Maybe, like, and he already killed all the Elm Street kids years prior. Oh. Remember he had that daughter? The cop guy gave the daughter some orange juice, so it pissed Freddy off. He's like, nobody's doing any nefarious things in this house without me finishing it. Wait, they were just in a... Oh, it's her now. Okay. Here comes your favorite scene. Yeah, I remember seeing this scene in the theater and the crowd cheered. Oh, yeah, with the music and everything? Mm-hmm. Because Robert since... England sells the whole thing with his eyes. And since they cut it from the movie, place your bets! Ow! Fuck. Yeah, exactly. Ow. That, was, that was Al there. And he's got fucking chlamydia now in his rib cage. Dude, that, that blade cut through a keg earlier and it gets stuck in a damn uh, table. He goes to put his hand down there. He's like, oh my god, crabs! <laughs> Lori's like, oh, I forgot the safe word. Just like my taxes. Until I had Fred Krueger do them for me. He's like, oh my God, it's that time of, oh my God, never mind. He's going America all over Jason's ass. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that always made me hurt too. Yeah, because it's not a blade. It's just an anim it's just like a blunt object. Like it's just like a brace for like a shelf or something. And it got him in the head or something, didn't it? No, it gets him in the side. Like, he's, oh, okay. he's basically dead yeah, right yeah. now because it probably pierced his liver. Place your bets, there we go. folks. We waited 20 years for this as kids, man. I would have preferred Just Kane, imagine. but yeah. I was you just took the words right out of my mouth. Imagine New Blood or Takes Manhattan Kane right here versus yes. Robert England. How great that would have been. Yes. Hey, why didn't he hit the shelf thing? <laughs> just would have killed Freddie. This would have killed Freddie. Yeah, he goes through the look, he goes through the fucking braces, like the middle part of the windows, the like the building part right there. Boom. Hey, that cabin right there that burnt down is gonna be in my story in the next chapter. Oh, hell yeah. Looking forward to that. Well, no shit, bitch. Yeah, he just scratched my liver. <laughs> Tis but a scratch, Kia. Oh. Monty Python. Go, I want to hey. die alone. <laughs> Oh, dude, you know what would be hilarious since we just did the Monty Python thing? She runs off, and there's people behind her uh, clapping coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That yeah, would not, be great. It's not the death we wanted for him. It's the death he deserved. Died a hero. He went out like a champ, but... Oh, he did? What did he do? She had already got thrown against the wall. He just ran up and got thrown, too. <laughs> Like, what, what, what did he do heroically other than run at a mass murderer <laughs> screaming? I mean, I guess just have the guts to face him. I mean, in general. Why are you saving them for? And why does Freddy want to kill Kia more than the girl he's been trying to kill specifically the entire film? That line would be cut like, now. <laughs> there's a few lines in this scene that would be cut. He looks really short here. He isn't very tall. Uh, she's like throwing insults we've all thrown at Freddy in the past. Then why are you backing her, away? 
what is her end game here, though? She has no weapons. Is she just embracing her own death here? Yep, to save her friends. You don't even try to run at all. I love how Freddy starts backing up because he sees Jason coming. We don't see it, but he sees it the whole time. It's actually not Jason behind her. It's Beyonce <laughs> overshadowing her. <laughs> oh, no. She thinks she has a career, but it's Beyonce. That's the best death in the whole movie. I'm so sick of her character. Her acting is horrendous. Well, I mean, what experience did she have prior to this besides music videos with Nelly? Exactly. They should have never put her in the movie. <laughs> they guaranteed they put her in this movie because they're like, oh, she's really famous at this point in time. Yeah, but I'm fucking bleeding to death, bitch. I need a doctor. But okay, yeah, we'll your do your breasts, thing. And your breasts are sliced open. And the ref calls for the bell. And we're off to a big start here, JR. <laughs> By God, Jason's got a mother. He's got a family. Freddy likes the puppies. This looks like an AEW match today. Man, the torpedoes. Jason gets hit by a torpedo in this movie and Jason X. <laughs> <laughs> when is when is Freddy going to go through the glass pane <laughs> from the top of the construction uh, area? Hey, this is technically Where... Freddy Krueger's last match. <laughs> yeah, he retired younger than Ric Flair. Yep. Freddy's only 60 here. Hey, Jason's eyes open all of a sudden. Oh, I how love Macho this Man didn't. How come Macho Man didn't say, hey, asshole, up here from the top rope before he dropped the big elbow? Right? <laughs> hey, asshole! <laughs> up here, yeah! <laughs> Jason's like, God damn it, I just regenerated my balls. Damn it. <laughs> damn it. This is going to take, take another three fucking years. <laughs> Freddie, you would be hurting, buddy. Um, how did Freddie move? I mean, he must be doing some strongman shit down in hell. How how was he able to move that? Come on. I love all the post uh, audio they did with Freddie. Like what you can tell he's not saying it in the scene. <laughs> Dude, the say Freddy's not really selling that rib injury from the cabin though, when his fucking side was smashed into the walls, because he's hitting his ribs again. He's not selling it. Bret Hart would be pissed. Somebody should put a, a xylophone noise in when he's going against that wall. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I don't think this is how physics works. By the way, that thing would not be building momentum swinging, Josh. Right? It would have stopped by now, right? It wouldn't be going so goddamn like, hard. Fuck? Exactly. It's ridiculous. Good landing. Perfect landing on the dock. <laughs> and Freddy's dead. That's over. Game over. Yeah, exact game over. This is WCW 1993. He just hit him with an international object. They weren't allowed to say foreign WC objects. <laughs> WCW 98 or 99, Kevin Nash shows up and they drop a big old bucket of blood on the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Judy Bagwell's up on a forklift waiting for her spot. <laughs> Freddie versus Jason versus Judy Bagwell on a forklift at Crystal Lake. I love the gas uh, hose that you have to pump there. They better not be wasting that fucking gas because there's no way they have a full tank in that van after driving states away. I, you notice he's not swinging at Jason's ass. He must want to save that cute thing. I can't believe Jason got his ass kicked so much. Okay, 
Now Jason's, he's like, I just got my left eye back. Oh my God. I'm rooting for Jason. I think at the underneath everything, he's still like just a kid. Already been there. Just got out. No, thank you. <laughs> my, I actually haven't changed my address yet. My mail is still going to hell. Have a heart, Jason. Okay. I'll take Freddy's. Oh, no, my arm. Oh, shit, it's not coming back this time. Yeah, that's my actual arm. God. It's like they're it's slow like dancing. Almost romantic. It's like romantic here, to be honest with you. Look at like, how it's filmed. It's real slow, and they're like real intimate. Oh. It's like, maybe we shouldn't be slow running. Maybe we should actually run. <laughs> they dive in the water. They swim right by Tina's dad. <laughs> He's just sitting there waiting. <laughs> some, some say he's still down there <laughs> waiting. How is some of the docks still intact over there? <laughs> That's a hell of a dock, man. Yeah, the dock, look, dock's still intact, man. Like, for the most part, the entire thing. It's a good thing I just watched this fresh because I got to write about this scene. <laughs> I like her tramp stamp. Yeah, when did she get that when she was under her dad's watch at the house? Like, no fucking way. It says daddy's girl. Yeah, it's the only way she got that was when she was fucking uh, drugged by her father's orange juice and he branded her like Keith Raniere of Nexium. This is one of the best ways to kill Freddy when it, when it happens. I love it. I could tell that wasn't Jason when I saw it. The size I, of his legs. Yeah. That would have been great in 3D. I don't know that 3D was like even a thing in 2003 at this point. Well, they did. They did it in the 90s, like 91 and stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess they did. Can you give me a hand? Well, isn't that ironic? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? <laughs> Oh man. That song should really be called Isn't It Inconven Isn't It Inconvenience, don't you think? There's nothing ironic in that song except for it's written except for its title. Its title's ironic. <laughs> that it's not ironic. Exactly. Oh, that dummy looks so real. A real decapitated body doesn't fall like that, trust me, I know. I mean I don't know. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I guess Destiny's Child's full of shit because they had that song Survivor at this point. <laughs> I'm a survivor because she didn't survive. She's fucking dead. Here's your machete, Jason, so oh, you can come back and kill exactly. us. Exactly. Exactly. Let's just give him his fucking murder weapon back. He just wanted his machete back. We should not have done that for our first episode. <laughs> I wish we still had that one on deck. <laughs> Slash Tracks Ghostbusters uh, is up to 830 views now. It is going viral, Josh. <laughs> This was added in post because uh, they didn't like the ending where Will and her are having sex and he turns into Freddy. This is the perfect ending because there's no decisive winner. This is basically what you needed. Well, if we go by kills, Jason killed like 300 people and he Freddy killed one, but yeah. 
Well, and Jason is going to put Freddy's head on his fucking mantle at his shitty ass house that's worth four hundred thousand dollars underwater. You get to find out what happened to Freddy's head in my story. But here we go. What up, Alex Josh? This is the sequel to Freddy's Dead. It's called Freddy's Head. <laughs> uh, Technically, fuck. it is the sequel to Freddy's Dead in canon. So this is yeah. Freddy's Head. By the way, ru uh, fuck Ronnie Yu. He's the one that didn't want Kane Hodder. Sean Cunningham. That's the asshole who keeps arguing with... Victor Miller. Victor Miller over the rights to fucking Jason Voorhees. And Victor Miller, by the way, uh, doesn't even like this franchise. He just likes yeah. money. Yep. John, will it? No, it won't. When this movie came out uh, in my hometown, it wasn't in my local theater. So I had to drive two hours out of town to go see it. And came home and it did so well at the box office that it eventually was brought to my local theater. Yeah. And I went to see it like another five times. Wow. I saw it like six times in the theater. I, at one point I'm pretty sure I had every movie stub I had from it too. Oh, Lachlan Monroe. There it was. Yeah. I got it. I got it right. Catherine Isabel, ginger snaps, Gib. Yeah. Catherine Isabel. Yeah. The one in the hat that got raped. I've always thought she was super pretty. We might have to do a ginger snaps one day. Yeah, there's like two or three of them. The third one's pretty bad. Um, The first ginger snaps is a... I might actually watch that today. Like, that's a really good movie. Mm-hmm. And the girl, her sister, Catherine Isabel's sister in that movie, is the girl from It. She plays a young uh, Beverly. Oh, yeah. Man, Sean Cunningham's all over this, huh, Josh? Yeah, and Ron... Where is this wall at? What are we looking at? Is that a wall? This is this is Freddy's room in hell. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I would love to interview him, but I don't. I don't think I could bite my tongue the whole time, Ken. I I'm not a fan of Ronnie. You. Um, I like this movie. I don't like the uh, afraid of water, afraid of fire. I don't like the no, no Kane Hodder. I don't like um, the it overly WWE. And I love wrestling. Some of the fight scene sequences yeah. are like when Freddie's doing an elbow drop, like a real elbow drop. Yeah. It's like, uh, I don't know. I, I really would have preferred to see Jason the way all the fans, for the most part, loved him from like New Blood, Jason Takes Manhattan versus Freddie from like Dream World, Dream... Dream Warriors, Dream Master, and have them go at it. You know what would be really funny is if Jason's double that was on the cast up there it said Jason's L.A. double. Yeah. If, if they had made a sequel to this and Ken assumed he was going to be Jason again, and the fucking L.A. double guy got the role and said. <laughs> that would be perfect. They're like, they're like he, can, he can emote more with his eyes, Kane. We're sorry. He's just way taller than you, too. Or not Kane, but Ken. Ken Kurzinger would get replaced by his own double. Yeah. That'd yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm they're they're telling him the same bullshit they told Kane. Exactly. Actually, actually, I don't think that Kane was even told anything. They sent him the fucking script. Yep. Before this movie was made, and then I don't know how he found out that he wasn't going to be doing the part. I'm not sure if anybody even told him. I think he just found out later. They re-recorded this movie at Todd A O Studio West. The lead, the 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 tool maintenance. <laughs> yeah, I need this. I need this screwdriver cleaned. Go call Jimmy. <laughs> hey, this uh fucking uh bracket in the Crystal Lake uh cabin here, where fucking uh, Linderman gets murdered on it. We need it to look dirtier. Come here, come here and dirty this thing up. It looks like Jeff Butterworth and Robert Pollard didn't do a good job because they needed additional special effects. They didn't you bring their watch... A game. Do you ever watch these credits on films like this and you already kind of know what the budget is for the film? Do you ever just envision like what some of these people are making? Like, cause you know that a lot of the money went to the production of the film yeah. and like the main stars. Like how much is Leah C. Lambert, Lee C. Lambert making like $10,000, <laughs> like 10 bucks an hour. <laughs> like, yeah. Like scale. Like, I don't know. Tyler Fowle. What did he make? 
There was a thing earlier that said pre-visualization pre a consultant. So it's just people that go, you know what might look good? <laughs> <laughs> so basically what me and you do constantly in our daily conversations about shit. Hey, junior, ju there was a guy named Junior Colt up there that was the senior TD. So he's like the STD. Oh my God. He's, his real name is Chlamydia. <laughs> And his sister, Syphilis. Oh my God, somebody had a second unit. The gaffer. Tim Atkins is the guy that fucks up all the lines. Oh no, the gaffer made another gaff. Uh oh. <laughs> On set dresser. <laughs> is that the one everybody puts Some their clothes in? <laughs> somebody go get the second assistant director, Eric Pott. Oh, the, uh, Tim Simonek didn't do a good enough job. They needed additional orchestrations. This is one of the first um, soundtracks that I can remember from a Nightmare on Elm Street film or a, or a Friday the 13th film that was actually a soundtrack. Like, more than just yeah. music made for the film. It actually had songs that people, like, went out and bought for the music. How can I live without a sequel to this? An army of me would love that. Oh, and when I darkness would... falls. Don't you feel like if they made a sequel to this, it would basically be like printing money? People would go see this. A oh, sequel. yeah. Oh, hey, let's call up cast and crew entertainment service and see how much everybody made. Yeah, I, or th there's got to be a list of what people made <laughs> on these films if you dig deep enough. Well, that's it, man. Season season three wraps after we talk to the evils. So looking forward to it. Just always a pleasure to deal with the evils in any capacity. They're just great people, Josh. This motion picture is being exhibited under specific licenses is not for sale. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Open the vault. Let's go. Mahalo, Freddy. Mahalo, Jason. I hope you two idiots have enjoyed your wonderful film. I decided to have the two of you do a game of Hangman. Winner moves on to season four. Loser dies. Um, are you, are you sure we can't do, just do this at the end of the season? Like, at the end of season four? Because I'm not really good at Hangman. I kind of suck. Oh, don't worry, Alex. I'm a champion at it. I don't really want to die, so if it's going to be one of us, I, I guess that means Alex will have to go. Let's play. Josh, don't indulge this man. He's being super serious. <laughs> The category is movies that prisoners will be forced to watch for the Slash Track Season 4 premiere. Alex, you are the first. Pick a letter. There are 13 letters total. Three words. First word is five letters. Second word is two letters. And the third word is six letters. Wait a minute. Uh, how does this game actually work? Oh, don't worry, Alex. I got this hot. <clears throat> We'd like to buy a continent, please. This isn't Wheel of Fortune, you bubbling buffoon. Even if it was, you don't buy consonants. Oh, well then, uh, Mr. Evil Man, we'd like to buy a number, please. Silence. Pick a letter, somebody. Okay, uh, sure. I'm going to pick uh, B. First letter is B. Good job, Alex. Uh, I'll pick an L. There is an L. It is the second letter. Wow. 
A. There is an A. It is the third letter. Oh, N. There is an N. It is the fourth letter. Okay. There is two Ks, the fifth of the first word and the fifth letter of the third word. So, blank is the first word. Next! Okay, so we got the first word, like, okay, O. Wow, you guys are good at this. Yes, there is an O. It is the first letter of the second word. F. Are you cheating? Yes, this is the second letter of the second word. So the first two words are blank of, and K is the fifth letter of the third word. C. H. And uh, U. Yes, darn it. There is a C and an H and a U. That is the first three letters of the third word. And C is also the fourth letter of the third word. You are cheating! There is only one letter remaining, and the puzzle so far reads blank of Chuck. Go ahead! One of you pick the last letter. Mm, Z. This is a toughie. Uh, is I guess Z's not right. Um, X. Nope, that's a head and a body. Try again. D. Q. Nope, nope, that's two arms. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, please. Shut up, clown. Yeah, shut up, clown. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. It's our game. Uh, and, and 27 is not a letter. Are you even paying? G. W. <laughs> Hangman, you lose. Wait a second. Nobody won. Ma, what do we do? I don't know, son, but I think they are both too damn dumb to die anyways. Why don't we just tell them the answer and torture them both for at least another season? Okay. Fine. It is blank of Chucky, as in it could be Bride of Chucky or Seed of Chucky. Viewers will decide your fate. <laughs> no! 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 Excuse me? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. He means it's been real fun being fooled by you super genius master evils of evil and the clown scenes or something. Uh, uh, bye, thanks for watching. Oh, hello. Last thing, everybody. Pleasant dreams. Season three's over, bitch. Bye. <laughs> I got a headache. Hey, Slashaholics, thank you for uh, watching season three of Slash Tracks. This has been a record-breaking two-year season, and uh, we watched a lot of movies. I just wanted to uh, thank Alex, uh, playing Alex, William, playing Master Evil, Flivel, playing Flivel, Mother Evil, playing Mother Evil. Uh, now, that's Nicole. That is, uh, she's awesome. Thank you, Nicole. And uh, my son, playing Anthony. But my son, <laughs> no. Hold on. He's playing dual roles. He's playing himself and the clown. A little. <laughs> my son playing the rodeo clown, and I just wanted to tell him happy birthday. The day we were recording this, he turned 17. So. Yeah.
Happy birthday, Rodeo Clown. Love you, you little bull distractor. <laughs> oh, Happy birthday, Anthony, you, think, you little son of a bitch. I'm sorry, I do have one thing to say. What's that? I got this weird uh, video in the mail. From Mr. Gore? Oh, uh, I think that's what he calls, that's what it says on the, on the letter. We might have to tack that on to the end of the episode then. Did you hear what Alex hey, what? told you? What? Yeah, go ahead and say it again. Happy birthday, you little son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Karaoke request coming in. All right, thank you, everybody. Hey, one year, he's got one year left before he has to move out of that fucking barrel or get a job. Yeah. He'll be 18 soon, clown. This is my job. Torture no. you guys. No, not a free ride yeah. in that barrel anymore, bud. You got one Happy year, birthday. pal. No more free ride in the dungeon no, barrel. Let's go. No more free ride in the barrel, you fucking clown. You got one year, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Start contributing to the dungeon or, or, or oh. else. <laughs> I'm tired of bringing all the bread and water into the dungeon. Hey, Mother Evil needs a, a toenail clipper and Master Evil needs a, a flibble groomer. So. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Mother Evil just got a cuticle bed trimmer last night. Just, so, wait, just you wait till season till season four, episode two. Uh, 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 you'll never treat me this way again. <laughs> oh, go get your barrel. We we gave you we said happy birthday. What up, Josh? What up, Alex Slash Track? What's going on? I'm busting in the damn hair.